Right, so welcome back guys. This is the sixth video on probability and I'm Salman. Uh, we're going to now discuss the tossing of coins. Okay, we're going to learn how to find the probability of questions that relate to the tossing of coins. Now, before I explain this to you further, uh, let's just talk about the two sides of a coin. Each coin has two faces. One is called the heads and the other is called the tails. And as long as the coin is fair and we mostly have questions on fair coins, the probability of getting a head is half and the probability of getting a tail is also half. So remember, probability of head, the right is PH, is 1 upon 2, probability of tail that is PT, is also 1 upon 2. So the question says that we want to toss a coin twice. Toss the coin twice. Okay. And the question says find the probability that we get the first as head and the second as a tail. So we write down the first is a head the second is a tail. The probability that the first is a head is going to be 1 upon 2. The probability that the second is tail is also going to be 1 upon 2. And this one is an AND condition, as we saw it here. So we will multiply, and the answer will be 1 out of 4. That's pretty easy, isn't it? OK. Right. Let's say that we're tossing the coin three times. So toss the coin thrice. And the question says, find the probability that we get two heads and one tail. Now, in this question, the order of the outcome is not specified. So, we could do it the long way, which is we can write down all the possible ways that this is possible. So the first could be a head, second could be a head, and third could be a tail. Or the first could be a head, second could be a tail, and the third could be a head. Or the first could be a tail, the second could be a head, and the third could be a head. The probability of this particular outcome is 1 out of 2 into 1 out of 2 into 1 out of 2, which is 1 upon 8. Similarly, the probability for this outcome is 1 out of 2 for the first head, 1 out of 2 for the second one being tail, and 1 out of 2 for the third one being head again. That's also 1 out of 8. And similarly for the third arrangement, tail, head, head, again, 1 out of 2 into 1 out of 2 into 1 out of 2. This is also 1 out of 8. And remember, any three, any one of these three outcomes will be satisfactory for us because the requirement was that two are heads and one is tail, the order was not specified. So you get it in any order, uh, that is perfectly fine. So therefore, the probability of getting two heads and one tail is going to be equal to 1 out of 8 plus 1 out of 8 plus 1 out of 8, and that makes it 3 out of 8. So that's the answer. Okay? Now, this was the slightly long way of doing this question. Now what is the shortcut? Well, let's look at that. So the short way of doing this question in which we're tossing a coin thrice and the question says what is the probability that we get two heads and one tail? Now the shorter way of doing this is to use the three-step method that I talked about in the previous video. The three-step method was step one, write down one favorable outcome. So that's going to be head, head, tail. Step two is to figure out the probability of that outcome. So that's going to be half times half times half, which is one out of eight. And step three is to multiply the answer of step two with a number of possible arrangements of the outcome mentioned in step one. So the arrangements of H, H, T, which are three letters, so the number of arrangements is going to be three factorial, but because you have two letters exactly the same as each other, so we will have to we will have to divide it by two factorial, and this will become three into two into one upon two into one, which is equal to three. So we'll have to multiply the answer of step two, which is one by eight, with three, and therefore our final answer will be three out of eight. Okay, so this is 
slightly faster. Okay, let's do a follow-up example. Let's say that you're tossing a coin five times. And the question says, find the priority of getting three tails and two heads. So, I want you to pause the video here and try to solve this on your own. And uh, then I'll explain to you uh, how to solve it right here. So, go ahead and pause the video and then solve it. Right. So the solution to this question would be as follows. Step one, write down one favorable outcome, which is tail, 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 head, head. Which means that the first one's a tail, the second one's a tail, the third one's a tail, the fourth is a head, and the fifth is also a head. Step two would be to find the probability of this outcome, which is half into half into half into half into half and that's going to be 1 out of 32 and step 3 would be to multiply the answer of step 2 with the number of possible arrangements of tail 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 head head now this will require us to use a knowledge of permutations the arrangements of the letters T T T H H these are five letters so that's going to be five factorial but because you have three t's which are all exactly the same so you need to divide by three factorial and you have two h which are exactly the same so you need to also divide by two factorial and this is going to be five into four into three into two into one divided by three into two into one into two into one and all of this will cancel out and leave you with ten so there are ten ways to arrange the letters t t t h h and I will multiply the answer of step 2 with 10. So the answer would be 10 out of 32, which is also equal to 5 out of 16 simplified. And that is the answer to probability of getting 3 tails and 2 heads on 5 tosses of a coin. I hope this is clear. See you in the next video.